Right, back live with you tonight. We're joined by the public uh, safety MMC uh, in the city of Johannesburg. Uh, that is Dr. Ntrini Chaku, who was on the ground, uh, and he's here to give us an update. MMC, good to have you, and thank you very much for your time. It, it, it seems there's been such great collaboration between yourself and the CPF in leading you to these uh, major hotspots. And it's, it, it seems to me it's not just hotspots, but it is the nerve of, 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 of these uh, o operations. Mm. How, how, how has... How have you worked with the CPF compared to how the South African police has worked with the CPF? No, thank you very much, Butabo. Uh, uh, so the, the, the CPFs, remember, we, we are using what was called, um, uh, you know, the community-based, you know, the policing. So the CPF have, have been giving us a proper intel of what is happening. And we go there direct, you know, uh, because uh, we are not in anyone's pocket. Yeah. We are not getting any... We are not being paid by any Zazamazamas because it has been alleged that there are some law enforcement agencies which are going there and collecting. So JMPD is not. Yeah. So when they show us a place where um, there seems to be some criminal activities, then we should uh, go in. And what we are what we're looking for, so the community, they must, the, 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 our viewers, they must not look at this thing as, uh, you know, we, we're not looking for these miners that are there. Okay, yeah, they are mining and all of that, right? But there's a criminal element there. There are people who are shooting each other, the gangs which are shooting each other. Yeah. And, and, and these gangs, what they're actually basically doing now, they take ladies uh, from the community and rape them in the mountains. Sure. And that was the, the, the main operation of, of, of today. And now what they're also currently doing is they um, asking for ransom every month. Uh, because remember, if it's, you know, nothing has been coming out on, on the ground, then what they do, they, 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 they actually ask, you know, for the ransom. So, Matole is the hot spot. Rivoli, it's okay. Yes, fine. It's there. But, uh, but Matole, yeah. there is a serious uh, um, 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 Zama Zama activity that is actually happening there. And it's toxic on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, these, on these, on these, on these uh, communities. So, I mean, this is just raising the exacerbation of the situation where now it's, 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 it's one, not just the mining, or you can call it artisanal mining, others mm. call it illegal mining, mm. it is the violent crimes yes. that are being committed and the abuse yeah. committed on women, and the extortion that, yes. is, that, is, that is now beginning to take place. Again, bringing us to this issue where we started, mm. it adds credence to the claim by the community to say, we are reporting this, yes. and nothing gets done. Yeah. So we can take them to these hotspots. We can yeah. take them where these people are, mm. but nothing gets done. Yeah. And the more nothing gets done, the more... It gets aggravated. It gets aggravated because yeah. they feel we are untouchable, yeah. and so we can, we can do more. Yeah. The Minister of Police and the, and the National Commissioner, Royal Commissioner, I wish we can bring them here and ask in terms of what is actually you know, happening. It's the same thing that we've been experiencing in all the police stations in the city of Joburg. People are complaining. Uh, you know, the lack of cars, the shortage of cars, um, also the non, you know, the responsiveness. And, 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 and communities have been alleging that. They, they, they've been seeing our police, you know, in these areas and alleging yes. to be collecting. Okay, yeah. so that morale in, into, like, you know, I mean, from the community, they actually go, go, gone very low. So these operations, um, actually, when I was asked by Sakina, what are you doing yourself? Because remember... The Zamazama, this uh, mining thing, is a, it's a police, it's a national police comp you know, competency. Yeah. competency yes. Yeah. So I, I said to the chief, look, I think that um, we should be doing something there. And then um, we, we did the operation that we had yesterday. Uh, we sent out all the informers to actually give us what is happening on the ground. We conducted the patrollers, we conducted all the, the CPFs, which were very brilliant as well. And they told us that was one of the biggest mines that, was, that stopped operating in 2019. And when we got there, we saw a big mining activity. We saw, um, I don't want to call, you see here, you've got Zamazamas and you've got the securities of the Zamazamas. Right. So where the fight is, is between these two. Because what happened, these security guys, they are watching these Zamazamas, which are, the Zamazamas are just miners. Yeah. Just very friendly guys and, very, yeah. Yeah. and they pay them. To watch over them. Right. So when the Zamazamas come with the like with the soil full of, of gold, yeah. they actually get uh, they get robbed. <laughs> so so the securities that's why them they must be armed all the time. So they know that these ones, if they've got this sand with gold, 
they actually there's going to be another gang which is going to rob them. So they must be armed. That's why you get a shootout every time. So, and then that shootout, you got bullets stray and they hit the, the communities and, 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 and all of that. So, yeah, they, they, they showed that, that what I think what we found and declared also by the provincial commissioner yesterday, yeah. it was the headquarters of Zama Zama. That's where the illegal activity is. There's full of gold. Yeah. And I hope that the viewers are not going to go there <laughs> from here. It's full of gold. <laughs> that's the idea. That's it, it, it's an idea. abundant that's mine. It was operating yeah. in, 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 in 2019, just recently. Yeah. Yeah. And those people, they just operated it and they just got gold and disappeared. But, but, but I, I, I want to stay with that a little bit more. Why would they then um, be shooting at yourself, JMPD, uh, or the police that would want to come there? No, the, remember that um, they, 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 these operations were really inspired by, you know, they've, they've got these um, videos circulating on Facebook and say that they're not scared of police and, yeah. and they must send the soldiers and all of that. One of the things I wanted to show that we, us in Johannesburg, JMPD Special Unit, will never tolerate lawlessness here. Yeah. And if they shoot at us, they're going to shoot back. Remember, uh, when they see you know, people movement and all of that, gun, they actually think that they're going to be robbed as well. Okay? And I don't know, you know we, we saw a lot of stuff. We saw the Pendukas, we saw their areas, we confiscated a lot of stuff in the hot areas and in the areas which are close to the police station. The LNC for Public Safety in the city of Johannesburg, Dr. Mkunichuak, is still with us. He was on the ground. As you see him, he's still uh, wearing his clothes full of dust and uh, <laughs> dust all over his nose. <laughs> he was down there and was, was, yeah, was, was, yeah, was, was, yeah. was actually carrying out these operations. I spoke to the Namakuland uh, municipality, right? They had yeah. a similar situation uh, going on there, and they found some bodies on top of uh, a, a, a mining dump and yeah. underneath the mining dump. They say... No, we know these operations are, are, are taking mm. place there. Uh, so we know th th these people are artisanal miners. So our approach has been, let's try and find some kind of legislative way uh -huh. uh, to, to formalize them. Yeah. Uh, and, and so you'd find that police don't arrest them. They yeah. kind of know that they are there. They're saying, well, be safe in what yes. you're doing. Is that the approach that we could be taking here mm. where you're saying, this is an operation that is right opposite the police, where police would say, well, we know that that is what's going on mm. there and, and we just let them be. Yes, look, um, I was actually going to go into that now, into the political economy yeah. of the, the mining. Look, what we're seeing here in South Africa, especially in Amatole, there, it's a vicious, um, you know, um, how capital operates. The capital in Jala, Bandabanemal, with those who own the means of production, yeah. they come in, they take the stuff, they take the, the gold, the minerals, and then they just disappear. And you have communities like that. Sure. The people, there's poverty there in, 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 in Amatole and in that area of, of the, like, you know, the, 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 the river, but there's gold underneath. Gold is there, you can see it is yellow. So I agree with you, because you know, people, they must never uh, dissociate, dissociate me from the economic freedom fighters. I'm the EFF member, in good standing, and we still say that is, the only way you can do that is to legalize mining, right? And actually small scale farming uh, as a mining. And you need to issue you no know, licenses, especially focus on those areas where there's, you know, the, the, the communities there. Empower them, you know, because, because um, uh, if you don't do that, now this criminal element, it actually creeps in. Yeah. We'll be able to control it and ensure that the gardeners are mining very safely and their safety is, is, is there. And then we're going to create a market for actually them. After they've done their digging, they're able to do, you know, the processing properly and go to market and actually sell that. So what's happening that day is that if I discover the gold, I mean, soil full of gold, I'm going to shoot you. Yeah. You know, so it's very dangerous in, in, in that yeah. niche. So yeah. Department of Mineral Energy must move in speed to deal with that. We, we need to come together. We need to, uh, you know, the, these, these operations I'm doing, I'm not really targeting those guys who are, who are mining. Like, you know, I'm looking at the criminal uh, elements. Yeah. And, and if the, the Department of, of, uh, of Minerals and Energy can ensure that we, we, we you know we do the legalization and all of that. I'm doing a disruption now, this yes. point in time. Yes. I'm disrupting the whole food chain. Yes. So that at least we can have we can out Yes, we can serve the out and, from the yeah, artisanal miners. Exactly. So yeah. Uh, so that, that is what we're actually basically doing right now. We're not really targeting these ones who are really want to make a living because the other they said, uh, look, MMC, this is our living. We 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 
we, I mean, with the small uh, gold, this, this much here, you can get 1,000 for 500. Sure. It's, it's quite a lot, you know, the, the, a lot of money. So with the guys who are taking the soil on the ground, they penduga it, they, they convert it into gold. Yeah. And then you've got all this soil which is there. But the other guys they, 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 that actually come in, these are the scavengers. The scavengers, they, talk, they, they call it a coop, a coop or something. Okay. It's a coal. So that one is a very small one. It's a very small uh, gold like this, very, very small. And it's 250 rand. So there's, a, there's big money there. I think that let us look into legalizing all this thing here and so that it does, you know, it, uh, it's, it's accessible to our people because there's no jobs, I mean, a lot of jobs, you know. Yeah. So young people there, you can see them, like, you know, they, they are ravaging in, in, in abject poverty. There's a, like alcohol abuse. You can see the lot of women and, and, and all of that, you know. So it's a very sad thing. I, I, I invite to me with, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Ngomile was there. Uh, yes. You can see the footage, people yes. on the ground. Yes. Yes. The people of Matola, they were very happy when we come in. Yes. And they said one of the things that we must relay to ourselves and maybe take it up to the Department of Mineral Energy, they want to be also to be owners of the mine. They want to really mine as well. Yes. They don't want to be called illegal miners right. because that, that, that uh, 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 thing is the, that, what, uh, the, that area belongs to actually them yeah. and the mineral. The minerals are there. Yeah. All they need is the Department of Mineral Energy to, to help them. And, and, and I mean, that, you, you will change the lives there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big business. I, I want to talk more about that and, 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 and I want to talk more about your, your, your operations first. Mm. But let's talk about exactly those pictures that we saw there, right? yeah. at, at least yesterday. Yes. Um, so that is the Pendugas. Is that what you call Pendugas? Is the that, that, is, is, that, is is that the, that operation that we are seeing yes. there? So yeah. this is how this happens. Um, you, you get the the, um, the, 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 the the dust full of uh, yes, yes, but it's in rock form, yes. all right? The Penduga in chemical engineering. Because remember, I'm an engineer, yes. right? Yes. 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 So it's a it's a bone mill. Ah. It's a bone mill. Right. So what you do that you take that. Um, you, you, it's, the so it's like a cylinder. They, yeah. they took one no, normal cylinder, yeah. and then you put those balls in, yeah. and then you put these uh, rocks which are rich in, in gold, yeah. and then you put water, you put vinegar, you put um, I think tartaric, if I'm not to remember, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you put salt. They're going to create some kind of an acid that can leach out. So you're doing a leaching process, by the way, and then you turn when you're turning that thing. So you are penduga. You are turning, you're actually leaching out that uh, gold soil, from the stone. Yes, from the stone. Yeah, yeah. from the stone. Yeah. Now, if you go to those areas now, they have a slope there like this. They're slopes like that. Right. right? You take that, that water that has been penned, look at. Yeah. Right? You, you, you actually run it there. So as you run down, all this dirt will go into those muddy water there. And the gold pieces are going to be sticking on, the, on that slope there. Right. Then they collect it up, put it into a small cup like that and then those gas torch yeah. you know those gas that yeah, we actually yeah, found yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah. you're actually melting those small gold dust into, into, into a, a nugget a nugget into a nugget yes and where does it go because the question is yeah. most of the time we we see the arrests yeah uh, in some instances we don't even see the gun in some yeah. instances we don't even see the gold this time around we saw you, you mm. we saw the arrests we yes. saw the guns mm. uh, we, <clears> even, we even saw the gold, gold but where is it going Okay, the, the, the gold, um, they say that miners, the, 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 the Zamas, Zamas are underground from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then uh, Thursday, and, Thursday and Friday, they are pendugaring. They penduga everything. Then uh, people like you and me coming from Tembisa, uh, Santon, everywhere, yeah. we park our cars there. We come and collect. Then you buy what is called a line. Right, me and you will buy a line. A line cost something like 150,000 back then. I don't know how much is it right now. There's 150,000 rent an individual. So that goes into a lot of people. Like it goes to a person who knows a person, yeah, and another person who knows a person that yeah. knows a person who's security to a zamazama, yeah, and who knows the shaft where they're going to mine. And then that also pays for the security of the Zamazama. And then what they do is that they don't use people coming from South Africa to do the Zamazama, to do the mining. They take our brothers from Zimbabwe, Lesotho, 
from Zimbabwe and Lesotho everywhere because remember, anything happens to Tutu actually them, they can simply bury them. No one is going to remember them. So the idea of using uh, of, of people who are doing this, the Zamazama, actually like the, the, the real mining work. For others are coming from more Mozambique. When they pass on, they just bury them there. You, you can't account for actually them, you know. So that 150,000 rand of a line, it's, it, it's what it is. So, so once, once you're actually done, you say, okay, look, for so much gold gram, uh, this is how much it is, something like 150,000 or 200,000. Some of the people I've spoken to, they say they can make as about 50% 50, 50 of, the, of the profit. So what we just did... So that 150,000 would have paid two. A, a lot of, of, of people along the way. Yes, along the way. But yourself, since you, you've paid that amount of money, yeah. so once you get your own gold, uh, that gold you can sell it, there are, big, there are black markets in, in downtown Joburg. So with that amount of, of gold, probably you get a few like grams, good, good grams, you can go as high as about, let's say, twice the amount of money you paid, 300,000 and all of that. So it's a, it's a food chain. It's a very well organized. The guys that we're chasing today, um, they just simply go inside into those uh, things, into the holes and disappear. Um, and then the individual, now we are chasing the people who are coming to really to collect because they are very nice cars mm. that the community, they say they come and collect yeah. those. Uh, and it's a weekly diamonds. operation. Weekly operation. It's a weekly operation and they operate between, um, they, some of them, they will come out at night between four, um, between, let's say, f between four and six, between four, four, four and, 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 and s between four and seven, that's when you start to hear them shooting and all of that because they're, they're coming out. Some of them is a warning shots because they want to tell the other ones, well, don't rob don't me because try. I've got guns, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. But when they shoot, they actually, those guns, they go into the houses of the communities. Right. So, I said to the chief and also to the provincial commissioner, very important, I hope they were going to implement this. All the police, including JMPD, we go on a shift at 6 o'clock. We change shifts. So all the officers, they start going out. They yes. start going home to their lockers and change guns and all of that at 5 o'clock. So from 5 o'clock till 8 o'clock, there's no security everywhere in Johannesburg. Yeah. There's nothing. There's no SEPs. There is no JMPD. Yeah. So the chief of police, we've spoken about that. We're going to introduce at least a swing shift yes. where we actually have security right. forces on that time. It has been it, like that. It, it brings me to my next question. Maybe a little bit controversial, yeah. but uh, let, let's go there nonetheless. Mm. The commissioner, national commissioner, says we don't have capacity mm. to even go after these people. Me. Yeah. You yeah. are coming with your own special <laughs> unit, uh -huh. and you're saying you've got capacity <laughs> to match. Yeah. Where's the disconnect? How, how do you, who's supposed to just be implementing bylaws, mm. come out and say, no, I've got a, a special force that can match and go in? No, the, the problem that, uh, you know, the National Commissioner, he doesn't understand that I'm coming from the Economy Freedom Fighters. Okay. Tina, here, you, you come up, you, 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 you come up with ideas. When I went there, in the whole of the, I've, I've, I've studied in terms of the units which are within the JMPD. But the problem is that those guys, they don't consult, they don't know anything. Begitka does not know anything. Like, I, I, I lost faith with them, you know. I, they just talked, that's why I didn't even go near to their Ambizo. Because all about them is talk, 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 talk. The NITU unit, whatever, there were two of them only. Uh, two, two units, two, two. And then later, when we, we did our own intel, they started to bring, like they, they said, we're well, being a maximum capacity of six people. We've got K9 unit. K9 unit, he does not tell you that the K9 unit is the one that is helping him with the cash in transit. Who discovered those people in, in Sabugeng? Who intercepted them? The K9 unit of the JMPD. They said, no, it's a self success. It's not. Those K9 units, they report to me. We've got also an IOC unit, undercover unit, with, with, with assault rifle. By the way, the K9 unit, by the way, it went to Tabazimbi. It's got the same training as the TRT, which is claiming that we don't have. Those people that we, we found and the guns we actually found yesterday, they were chased by the IOC and the K9 unit. And he, even provisioner, uh, uh, the, 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 the commissioner, Mawen, he said, hey, MMC, 
Even my cops, they will chase people. They will never enter that dark hole. We entered there. And we said, okay, we need, we need, you know, the night vision. The night vision is what you put there and then yes, you can see yes, it in the yes, dark. Yes, yes. We're waiting for that. And, the, and those guys from the K9 unit, I said, no ways, man. Let us go inside. And then we went inside and they started to shoot. They started to shoot at us. We shoot at them. We went inside, all of us, up until the belly of the mine. Okay, went up until to the point, and then they said, we said, no, it's fine, it's becoming too, too actually dark. So, I don't, what we say is that is, the problem is that the national government and the provincial government is undermining the city of Ekuruleni, so the, the city of uh, uh, the, the, the COJ, yeah. uh, as they are undermining us. That's why I told Panyaza where to, where to actually get off. So, if Begitele, what he knows, what is good for him, I like his police because we work together on this side. I don't have anything against the police. Just that they must just come to the party. But he himself, he's just a, a, a thing, uh, just a, some simple guy, like some hollow head. He just speaks with nothing. He never consult anything like Lulu Sufi. When they come and do operations at the city of Johannesburg, we do operation and we, they're intelligent driven. We know what is going on. We would have wanted to use some of their equipment, some of the advanced equipment, so that we can reinforce. Remember, we are a force, they call us a force multiplier. Yes. How can you say a force ma 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 multiplier is, like, is, is, is useless? We've got, we've got units like uh, um, the IOC, K9 unit, we've got even an infrastructure unit. Oh, I forgot. And they even a taxi violence unit. We've got all of them. Right. We've been helping the province. That's why the taxi violence has actually come down. Right. That's why even the Soweto healing, all of that, we went in the taxi violence unit, went there, mediated and all of that. So I don't understand when they, 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 they come out on TV. What they do, they just grandstand and I've been telling them, what they, the EFF pronoun, they said to me, when you go to the public safety department, put politics aside, deliver to the people. And if they can't deliver safety to our people, as the city of Joe, of, of, of uh, you know, this, this, this uh, Johannesburg in public yeah. safety, yeah. we are going to do that. Right. We are going to do an intelligent driven operation. Right. I know they say that I don't have intelligence, I don't give a damn. But we have our own intelligence, we are using it, we are going to nab them. If we are, we are not in pockets of any gangsters or any mine uh, people who, you know, we are not in pockets, you know, we don't go and collect money uh, anyway. Yeah. So that's why it's for us, it's very easy to go out there and do our, our, our actual work. MC, appreciate your time. Thanks so much uh, for Thank coming. You. MC, MC for public safety. Mm -hmm.